All right, gentlemen, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to make your pencil box. So in SketchUp, I'm gonna go create new and the millimeters template. Now you want to be able to create your um, thing at the correct size. Humans in there for scale. So if I draw in using the rectangle tool and I click on rectangle, if I click on the ground and then drag out, you'll see down here, down the bottom right hand side, the dimensions are updating. Yeah as I drag away and I can um, specify how far I want the second point so I've, I've put a point down here I've clicked on a place and now I'm clicking on another point up here and I want that point to be 200 away in the X and um, how why is it it's 90 away in the Y and that makes a rectangle which according to our human is that big and that kind of makes sense considering it's our pencil box so there's my um, rectangle it's 200 long by 90 high or 90 deep now I'm going to select using the select tool drag a um, make a window around it all get the push pull button boom, boom, boom. and I'm going to hover in the middle and click and drag it up now it's 12 millimeters thick this wood the hoop pine is 12 thick so there's my side there's the foot of the, the guy and there's one of my sides now we want this to be as accurate as possible so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make um, guidelines so if you get the tape measure tool what you can do is you can click on a line so I'm going to click on this edge here click on that line and then move away and it creates a kind of guideline in the same axis as that original line. So I'm going to drag it back down here and I want to make a line for my rebate joint that is 12 mils back. Yeah, because the bit of wood that's going to sit in there is 12 millimeters. Now I also want um, a line coming down from there because um, it's going to drop down and it's dropping down halfway. That's how deep my rebate is going to go. Um, and I can use that to create my rebate. So I go and get the rectangle tool. I can now snap onto that guideline and there's my first point of my rectangle. Second point I'm going to snap to the corner and it should draw a rectangle in there. Now I'll be able to use the push pull button. Click and I should be able to snap to that guideline. You see I'm snapping onto that guideline. And there's my rebate joint. I can then use the select tool to delete those guidelines so now if i i would recommend using a mouse for this not using the trackpad use a mouse because it's nice and easy the middle button on your mouse will be uh, the one you can use to orbit if you don't have that o for orbit and then use your just normal left mouse button to click h for hand and that'll let you move around but you really need to watch that video that i've posted as well okay so what you're going to do is you're going to create um your side so once you get that done let's imagine there's a rebate joint on this side as well what i would do it's com complete i would make it a group <clears throat> so it's all collected together it's not gonna um it's not gonna change too much uh and then i can copy it now probably the easiest way i would just go control c control v uh and there's my other side now we want to be able to rotate these because they're at the moment they're sitting flat on the ground but we want to rotate them up um, so I select the object, I go to rotate, which would be under move. So there's move, rotate and scale. And I rotate it. Now you can see it's, uh, I've got that little rotate um, thing and it's in a particular plane. Yeah, it sits flat. So if I click on it at the moment, it's going to rotate it in that plane. But I want to rotate it in this plane. So I get, um, I get that plane by hovering over a face that's facing straight up so i click here and then i click to say this is my first um, point i want to align my protractor i'm going to align it along that edge and then when i move it um, for the third time um, it should rotate around that that face well there we go okay so there's one of my um, things rotated up select and i'm going to right click and group this now i've already grouped it um, and i'm going to rotate it again so boom um, and i'm going to go the other way boom so i can rotate up like that 
and angle 90 degrees. I can type in 90, hit enter, and that's gonna be nice and accurate. And now I've started to get my, um, my bits and bobs in there. Now I would suggest you have finished these sides. So if you're going to put in, um, you can edit them afterwards, um, but for instance, if you're gonna put in your, um, your groove for the um, lid, you want to have done that earlier than I did it, okay? You want to have done that before. So please make sure this side is perfect before you copy it um, and before you start rotating it at assembly. So get all the pieces perfect uh, and then assemble it as I'm starting to do, okay? That's what you want to do.